Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing fine. Welcome back to Promine classes. As we are doing our NCERT series, we are continuing with NCERT class 6 the geography. And today we will study chapter number 7 our country India. Let's start with the chapter. The Indian Peninsula is situated in south portion of Asia mainland and separated by the Himalayas. The country is surrounded by the Himalayas in the north, by Bay of Bengal in the east, and the Arabian Sea in the west, and Indian Ocean in the south. What is peninsula? So peninsula is a piece of land that is surrounded by water on the three sides. India has an area of about 3.28 million square kilometer. From north to south extension, that is from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, total length is about 3200 kilometer. And from east to west, that is from Arunachal Pradesh to Kutch, total width is about 2900 kilometer. The lofty mountains, the great Indian desert, the northern plains and the uneven plateau surface, the coast and islands present a diversity of landforms. There is a great diversity in the climate, vegetations, wildlife as well as the language and the culture. In this diversity, we find unity that is reflected in traditions that bind us as one nation. India has a population of more than 120 crore since the year 2011. It is the second most populous country of the world after China. Now we will study about locational settings. India is located in the northern and eastern hemisphere. From south to north, mainlands of India extends between 8 degree 4 minute north and 37 degree 6 minute north latitudes. And from west to east, India extends between 68 degree 7 minute east and 97 degree 25 minute east longitudes. The Tropic of Cancer that is 23 degree 30 minute north passes almost halfway through the country. Now we will study about Indian Standard Time. Due to great longitudinal extent of about 29 degree, 68 degree 7 minute east to 97 degree 25 minute east longitudes, there could be a wide difference in local time of place located at two extreme points of India. That is East Arunachal Pradesh to West Gujarat. As such, the difference between these two points would be of about 2 hours. As we have learned earlier, the local time changes by 4 minutes for every 1 degree of longitude. The sun rises about 2 hours early in the east, that is Arunachal Pradesh, then in the west, that is Gujarat. We have already read earlier, why local time of longitude of 82 degree 30 minute east has been taken as the Indian standard time? Because it is laying between Dwarka in Gujarat and Dibrugar in Assam. That is 68 degree 7 minute east to 97 degree 25 minute east longitudes. These meridian or longitude is also termed as standard meridian of India. Now we will study about India's neighbors. There are seven countries that share land boundaries with India. Pakistan in northwest, Afghanistan in northwest, China in north, Nepal in north, 
भूटान इन नॉर्थ बांग्लादेश इन ईस्ट म्यांमार इन ईस्ट दैट मीन्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द डायरेक्शन इन नॉर्थ इट इज चाइना नेपाल एंड भूटान इन नॉर्थ वेस्ट इट इज अफगानिस्तान एंड पाकिस्तान एंड इन द ईस्ट इट इज बांग्लादेश एंड म्यांमार अपार्ट फ्रॉम लैंड we have two more neighboring countries in the form of island that lies to the south that is sri lanka and maldives and both are located in the indian ocean sri lanka is separated from india by palk strait and palk strait is connected to indian ocean by bay of mannar so what is a strait a strait is a naturally formed narrowing typically navigable water wave that connects two large water bodies most commonly it is the channel of water that lies between two land masses now we will study about political and administrative divisions india is a vast country for administrative purpose it is divided into 28 states and 8 union territories under appendix 1 so the following is the list of indian states and their capitals andhra pradesh amravati arunachal pradesh itanagar assam dispur bihar patna chatisgarh नया रायपुर गोवा पानाजी गुजरात गांधीनगर हरियाणा चंडीगढ़ हिमाचल प्रदेश शिमला झारखंड रांची कर्नाटका बेंगलोर केरला त्रिवंतनमपुरम मध्य प्रदेश भोपाल महाराष्ट्र मुंबई मणिपुर इम्फाल मेघालय शिलोंग मिजोरम अजीवल नागालैंड कोहिमा ओडिशा भुवनेश्वर पंजाब चंडीगढ़ राजस्थान जयपुर सिक्किम गैंगटॉक तमिलनाडु चेन्नई तेलंगाना हैदराबाद त्रिपुरा अगरतला उत्तर प्रदेश लखनऊ उत्तराखंड देहरादून वेस्ट बंगाल कोलकाता नाउ वी विल सी द एट यूनियन टेरिटरीज ऑफ इंडिया विद देयर कैपिटल्स अंडमान एंड निकोबार आइलैंड्स पोर्ट ब्लेयर चंडीगढ़ चंडीगढ़ दादरा नागर हवेली एंड दमन दीव दमन दिल्ली न्यू दिल्ली जम्मू एंड कश्मीर श्रीनगर इन समर एंड जम्मू इन विंटर लद्दाख लेह लक्षद्वीप करावती पाण्डिचेरी पाण्डिचेरी एंड द स्टेट्स हैव बीन फॉर्म्ड मेनली ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ लैंग्वेजेस डेली इज द नेशनल कैपिटल नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट फिजिकल डिविजन India is marked by a diversity of physical features such as mountains, plateaus, plain, coast and islands. Standing as sentinels that means safeguard or a soldier in the north are the lofty snow-capped Himalayas. Him plus alia means the abode house of snow. Himalayan mountains are divided into three main parallel ranges first great himalayas or himadri the northmost region of the himalayas or the world's highest peaks are located in this range second is middle himalaya or himachal it lies to the south of himadri or great himalayas and many popular hill stations are situated here some examples are manali kufri palampur dalhousie dharamshala narkanda these are some examples 
of the hill stations which are situated in the middle himalaya now the third one is the shivalik himalayas range it is the southernmost range and it is also known as outer himalayas now we will study about the northern indian plains it lies to the south of himalayas and north of peninsular plateau and they are generally level and flat they are formed by alluvial deposits laid down by the rivers the indus the ganga the brahmaputra and the tributaries so what is alluvial deposit alluvial deposits these are very fine soil brought by rivers and deposited in the river basin and what is tributary tributary is a river or the stream which contributes its water to main river by discharging it into the main rivers from either side now this river plains provide fertile land for cultivation that is the reason for the high concentration of population in this plains that is the northern indian plains in the west part of india lies the great indian deserts its name is thar it is a dry hot and sandy stretch of land now we will study about peninsular plateau it lies to the south of northern plains it is a triangular in shape and the relief is highly uneven this is a region with the numerous hills ranges and valleys aravalli hills one of the oldest range of the world bordered it on the northwest side the vindhyas and the satpuras are the important ranges the river narmada and tapi flow through this ranges that is vindhyas and satpura ranges and these are the west flowing rivers that drain into the arabian sea now we will study about ghats the western ghats or sayadri border the western ghat or sayadri border is the plateau in the west it provides the western coastal boundary and the western ghats are almost continuous the eastern ghats eastern ghats border the plateau in the east provides the eastern coastal boundary the eastern ghats are broken and uneven and the plateau is rich in minerals like coal and iron ore now we will study about the coastal plains to the west of western ghat and the east of eastern ghat lies the coastal plain the western coastal plains are very narrow the eastern coastal plains are much broader there are a number of east flowing rivers the rivers are mahanadi godavari krishna and kaveri drained into the bay of bengal these rivers have formed fertile deltas at their mouth the sundarban delta is formed where the ganga and brahmaputra fall into the bay of bengal now what is delta the delta is a triangular in shape it is an area of land formed at the mouth of river so what is the mouth of river where river enters the sea that point is called mouth of river now we will study about island two groups of islands also forms a part of india that is lakshadweep island and the andaman and nicobar islands lakshadweep island are located in arabian sea and these are coral islands located off the coast of kerala so what is coral corals are the skeleton of tiny marine animals called polypes and the andaman and nicobar island lies to the southeast of the indian mainland in bay of bengal and do you know that in 2004 during the tsunami giant waves slammed into the coastline 
The entire stretch of Nicobar Islands was drawn into the sea to varying levels from 1.1 meters to 3 meters. So here we have completed the entire chapter. Hope that your concepts are clear regarding the chapter. Hope that you like our video. Do share our video and please do subscribe our channel. Thanks a lot for the precious time. Stay tuned with ProMind.